Well, let's get to today's daily biz. You can pick up a few of these creepy little lawn Whoa. gnomes and come home for Halloween. It'll be the scariest house on the block. They have Freddy. They have two versions of Jason and that creepy girl from The Exorcist. And yeah. Oh, yeah. They're about 18 bucks Underwear. each, and they have from a company called BeFullOfLovely.com. Oh, well, the there you go. You need that at your new house. Michael Myers, the screen. You need that for your yard with all those children coming up there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll save them a candy. Maybe they're not. It a, would. They may not make it through the yard. Those are some creepy deals. They are. They really, really are. I mean, that's. I mean, a lot of people like to do like the fun and friendly ghosts and mm -hmm. stuff like that. I don't know. I'd think twice about going up to the door if I were a kid, you know. When I They're saw probably like not that. scared of it at all. Was Pennywise the clown in there, too? I don't know. I didn't see Pennywise. I don't know. But I'm, what, I'm, I'm sure Pennywise if it's not there, there it's, it's going to be added later he on. He was not in there, they okay, said. Okay, they're not in there. But it, here's the way I look at it. I mean, I think it's fun. I, think, I almost think that Halloween decorating has become as big as Christmas decorations. It's up there. In the yard. I it's mean, up there. And it, not just in the yard, inside too. I just think people are getting into Halloween more and more in the past 10 years. Well, and there's more available years. too. Those big animatronics yeah. you can buy. We showed right. you, I think, about a week ago from right, Home right. Depot. What was it, 12 feet tall? We, yes, the C Cthulhu. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's I, what it was. That was. That's what it was. A huge one too. Well, yeah, those would be a nice little match to go with. I think it would. <laughs> that, that could put that right there. There's actually a few houses that I just think are just fantastic they are. every year. So, yeah, get out there and celebrate Halloween. That's always a lot of fun. Here's the thing, though we don't need the Halloween decorations just yet. I think we need to make it through summer first. Then, once we hit like September, then we can but start. It's going to happen. It. You know, Christmas is already out, so it's going to happen. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. A woman in England went all out to celebrate her doggie's birthday. This would be Dave. He's a nine year old British bulldog. Right. His owner's friend spent 40 hours recreating him in cake. And this is Dave in cake. It is a life size cake. Whoa. Costs about $4,000 to make, no doubt. And Dave approves of his likeness. Isn't that amazing? That it's made of cake? Yes, that it's amazing. That is made of cake. Oh, I mean, he's a goodness. sweetie pie, too, but, I mean, the cake is amazing. I mean, that, look, wait a minute. What are they painting that with? I don't think I want to eat a cake that's got uh, paint on it's it. It's bologna color. Always is No, it's, it's, it's just his food. I mean, it's cake color. You color icing, you know. Well, I guess it might be icing. Yeah. I guess it's yeah. icing. Okay, that's pretty cool. I thought it looks awesome. But that's one of those cakes that looks so good. It's like a work of art. You don't want to cut like, it, I can't cut into that, right. you know. And plus, you cut into a dog. <laughs> Cut the dog's head off. I mean, that doesn't sound good, does it? No, you gotta, where would you hack into it that it would be comfortable? So, yeah. I mean, I would feel really bad if I cut off the dog's head and start eating it. I mean, that's just. Wonder if they really do right. it. Wonder if they just let it sit out there. Ah, uh, yeah, I think they probably just just hands well, off. Google that, Audrey. Yeah, See if what please, happened to Dave the cake. Yeah, please do. In South Dakota, uh, it is hot enough to bake cookies on a dashboard. Yes, You've done I've this done before. this before. Yes, I have. Uh, the park officials uh, did this with triple digit temperature. In Badlands National yeah. Park, it was up to 102. Inside the vehicle, 145, That'll and they said the cookies were completely baked. How was? How did you and Jake did this we a did, while back? Yeah, did I put you it not? in my Jeep. Uh, uh, then here's the deal. Yeah, we put it in there early on. But what you want to do, you make sure it's got the sun, the exposure to the okay. sun, so it gets the full greenhouse effect. And it did. It actually. Now I left though at about one o'clock, and by that time it had already started to bake just a little bit. And if I would have stayed there like all day, you know, to like five, six o'clock, I guarantee you, we might have had some burnt cookies. <laughs> so that was, I was going to ask you, how long would it take if it's 145 in your car? Uh, you, you, you bake cookies well at 350, typically. Uh, yeah, 350. It'd take a little bit, lot longer than the regular cookies. It took a little while, especially in the morning, you know what I'm saying? When right. it wasn't quite that hot. But once it started to heat up, it started to make progress really fast. Heat up so that I could cookie see sheet first. You know, 145, I mean, it's just slow cooking in the oven, right? That's what it is. It's like, like the Easy Bake Oven back in the day uh, with that little light bulb in that there. Light <laughs>